Jesus. And he told them when they came and said, let us be baptized also. He said, I will not baptize you, but to vipers, amen. You say one thing with your mouth and do something else with your heart. I ain't baptizing you, amen. And y'all thought Brother Reigns was a hard preacher, amen. John the Baptist was a mean-looking man. They say that he was a wild-looking man. Said he had the camel skin uh, for a clothing around him. Had a big old leather girl girt about that camel skin. Looked like a Stone Age man out of the out of the Stone Age. Come out there. I imagine his hair was all wild-looking. Amen. And, and he he eat uh, he eat wild. He said, locusts, that's what grasshoppers are. Amen, locusts. And, and historians say that, that John the Baptist uh, had a bad eye. Amen. So when he preached to you, you don't know if he was preaching to you or that other on every side of you because he was cross-eyed. Amen. <laughs> And, and that's enough. But God said, I know I'm full of your sacrifices. He said, I am full. And in fact, it sounded like he was saying, I am so full, I'm sick of your sacrifices. Amen. You know how it is when you get so full? You just can't even think about food again. You, you say to yourself, I'll never eat again. Amen. I'm hurting and I'm so miserable, I'll never eat again. Amen. Two hours later, you're back in there finishing up. Amen. That chocolate cake you left out of there. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but God said, I'm full of your sacrifices. Amen. I'm full of them. Oh. oh. And what did he say to Psalm? Through the prophet of God? He said, obedience is better than sacrifices. So we're seeing this story right here that obedience is better than sacrifices. God's showing that He wants you to obey His Word. And, and, and the man of God, He also goes on and the rest of the story tells the man of God, hey Amen, you have to be watched. You have to watch it for everybody. Because even those that you think would not deceive you might be the very one that deceives you. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. And, and that's part of the story that I really have a hard time with. Amen. I'm thinking, oh, why did God let me go ahead and read it? You don't know what I'm talking about. Praise the Lord. Amen. So he told him that he wouldn't come and eat in his house. Amen. Amen. Because the Lord charged him not to do so. So he went another way and returned not by the way that he had come to Bethel. Now there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel. That might be the key to us there, old prophet, amen. Because a lot of times uh, uh, when it spoke about when the, when the man uh, of God loses the vision and he uh, 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 falls asleep and he, he goes to sleep spiritually and allows the anointing of the Lord run out church and run out of the family of God and run out of the, all the children of Israel because we find that there was a high priest that did that. Amen. 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 He it said there, uh, he, he fell asleep uh, and, and, and the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord. Uh, but he had, a, he had a young man back in the back room back there. Samuel uh, was the young prophet, praise God, that God called because the old man had lost the vision. See, a lot of times I don't know where God's going with these scriptures until I go preach them. Amen. 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 Come on. I didn't know I, didn't know I was going to say all that. But God put it in my heart to say it because it's true. Probably the old prophet had lost his vision. He had lost the word of the Lord. No longer was he having a revelation. No longer was he having a vision. No longer he had the fire and the anointing burning. No the Lord shouted in his life, but he didn't want to give up his position. Come 
the king, they told him also of their other father. And the father said unto them, What way or which way did he go? Amen. The way I said it, praise God. What way went he? His sons had seen that way the man of God went, which came from Judah, and said unto his and, and he said unto his son, Saddle up my donkey. Amen. Uh, so they saddled up his donkey. Amen. And he rode down on And he went after the man of God. And found him standing on an old tree. And said unto him, Art thou that man of God that cometh from Judah? Uh, and he said, going on around them, they could be easily deceived and fall and be devoured by the vine. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us to take heed uh, that where we stand, lest we fall. He said we have to take heed to where we're standing on God's promises and God's word that we don't fall. Amen. Amen. He also tells us we ought to uh, uh, men ought to always to pray and not Maybe this brother got by the old tree and got discouraged. Said, you know, I went and done what God told me to do, but now I'm feeling discouraged. You say it don't happen. Yes, it does happen. Amen. Many a time the preacher gets up on Monday morning so discouraged after he preached like a fireball on Sunday. He gets up on Monday and he's fighting the devil just to get 
the victory to say, praise the Lord. Amen. Because the enemy will bring everything that he can to bring discouragement. Want you to get up and quit. Maybe this man of God got discouraged under the oak tree and was deceived by the lies of this old prophet. Amen. At the verse, so he went back with him and did eat bread in his house and drink water. And it came to pass as they sat at the table that the word of the Lord came unto the prophet that brought him back and he cried unto him, Man of God, thou came from Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, for as much as thou hast disobeyed the mouth of the Lord and has not kept the commandment which he, which the Lord Nor torn the donkey. And the prophet took. 